Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping. I just wanted to, uh, to talk about this uh, Ultrafire WF-502B. I've had this for like three years. I have several of them. Several of my family members have some of these. And this was one of my uh, first 18650 lights uh, that I got once again about three years ago. I think these have been out for maybe as much as six to seven years. I'm not really sure. But I do know that they still sell them and they have different versions now. Uh, they're supposedly brighter, but uh, once again, when this was purchased, uh, it was supposedly 500 lumen output. Uh, I actually have very high quality lights that are at 500 lumens, and this is not 500 lumens. This is maybe 300. And so this is what is also being reported with the new ones, the new Ultrafire WF-502Bs. Uh, they're being uh, rated at 1,000 lumens, but they're comparable to like 300 lumen lights. So it doesn't seem like after all these years that the Ultrafire, and it, even in its new uh, uh, versions and models, haven't even increased in any kind of output. Uh, so I just want to let you know about that. Uh, they go between $10 to $15, depending on if you get a kit or not with a battery charger or an extra battery or whatever. Uh, so, you know, if you just want to get a starter light, uh, just kind of play around with 18650s. You may or may not get a good uh, battery, though. These batteries in these Ultrafires are really hit and miss. I know I burnt some out. Uh, when I first got these, I went through a couple of them. Uh, luckily, I got extra batteries, so uh, at least I have at least one left for each light. Uh, but, you know, if you're on a major budget and you just need something for around the house, not the worst option. Uh, if you want something for your bug out bag or from some, some kind of serious survival situation, uh, I would not recommend this. Just because either the battery could fail on you uh, or the light itself. I haven't personally had many problems with the actual light. It's just the batteries that I have a lot of concerns. So even if you wanted to get the light by itself and not any batteries uh, and get yourself an actual real quality battery, like a name brand uh, lithium ion 18650, uh, that would probably be uh, hands down the better way to go. Uh, these are still they're built okay. You know, this one has a lot of rattle. And uh, I don't know, you know, it's if it's my hands okay and everything and the knurling's good and I mean, I can't speak of the newest ones that they have out, but you know, it's just kind of, you know, kind of cheesy a little bit. It's a little cheap, but uh, once again, it was cheap. So if, it, you know, I got this thing around like $10 and so whatever but um just you know just know that like just most of the chinese lights uh you're lucky if, if it gets about a third of the output that it actually reports and so and i'm not saying that not all of them are like that but the ones that i have experience with they're they're about a third so uh just uh, buyers beware but i don't regret this purchase at all i just want to let you know that there's a lot of other brands that you probably know by now if you watch the channel uh just don't be afraid to save a few more dollars seriously just a few more dollars get you a lot more light and look into things like uh nightcore and olight uh and uh, if you're on a you know if you're on any other kind of budget though uh you know there are some different types of stream lights that are even uh, like the pin lights and stuff that are fairly affordable that are good quality uh and it'll last a long time thanks for watching